Difference between Quality Assurance QA, and Quality Control QC, An Overview of 7 QC Tools Success is the Sum of Small Efforts, Repeated Day In and Day Out, by Robert Collier Everyone should must focus on quality. Let's explore what exactly it means, how QA and QA can be useful and how we can effectively use 7 QC tools. Let's go! Welcome to Learn Transformation, a platform to develop leaders, by inspiring and advising all about transformation. If you have not subscribed yet you are missing out. What is Quality Assurance? Quality Assurance is a way of averting errors and the defects present in the manufactured products. It also refers to the avoidance of problems while delivering products and services to consumers. Furthermore, it can also be interpreted as a crucial part of quality management that is focused on giving confidence that the requirements in product quality will be fulfilled. This confidence provided through quality assurance internally affects the management of an organization, whereas externally affects the customers, government agencies, third parties, etc. What is quality control? This term is more like a process in which the quality of all factors that are involved in the production process, is reviewed. Like quality assurance, quality control, is also a part of management that is concentrated on fulfilling the quality requirements of a product. Through this process, an organization can ensure that the quality of the product is maintained and improved. Difference between quality assurance, QA, and quality control, QC, are used interchangeably. Now, that you've got an overview of both the terms, let's take a look at the points of differences between them. QA aims to deter any defect and prevent it, whereas QC aims to identify the defect and improve it as well. QA is more like a technique where quality is managed, whereas QC is a method that verifies quality. QA doesn't demand the execution of programs, whereas QC requires the execution of programs. QA is assured by all team members, whereas only the testing team is credible for QC. A QA example is verification, whereas a QC example is validation. What are the 7 QC tools? These 7 QC tools were initially created by Kaoru Ishikawa, a Japanese professor of engineering. The goal was the implementation of basic and user-friendly tools that the employees from each background with varied skills could use without any such requirement of extensive training. The usage of those seven tools turned into statistical quality control as a means of quality assurance. Still today, these tools that help in quality management are considered the gold standard for managing a variety of quality-related issues. These tools are often executed along with some of the widely used process improvement methodologies like Six Sigma, Lean Management, etc. Let's take a glance at those 7 QC tools first is stratification. The stratification analysis tool is a quality assurance tool that is used to sort data, objects, and people as well into distinct groups. If you segregate your data by using this tool, then you will be able to determine its meaning, or revealing some patterns that wouldn't have been notified otherwise. Stratified analysis of your data allows you to make sense of your data previously, during, and after its collection. To receive the most out of this tool, you should always consider which type of information about your data's sources can possibly affect the results of your data analysis. Second is histogram. Often, the quality specialists are allocated with the work of analyzing and interpreting the different groups of data's behaviors to manage and maintain quality. This is where another QC tool, histogram comes into action. This particular tool helps you to exemplify the distribution of data clearly. It has a structure identical to the bar graph, where each bar represents a group, whereas the height of the bar graph represents the frequency of data within that group. Third is check sheet or tally sheet. Check sheets are generally used for the collection of qualitative and quantitative data. While collecting quantitative data, this tool is called a tally sheet. Whereas a check sheet collects data in the form of check marks that helps to indicate how many times a specific value has occurred. This ultimately helps you to quickly zero the flaws within your process, defect patterns, and also causes of some particular defects. 
fourth is cause and effect diagram. Also known as the fishbone diagram, it is a QC tool that operates by defining an issue related to quality on the right-hand side of the diagram. This tool's causes and sub-causes are mainly grouped into these six groups, measurements, personnel, environment, machines, and methods. These groups help in the identification of the likely source of your problem, while also keeping the diagram structured. Fifth is Pareto Chart 80-20 Rule. The Pareto Chart utilizes the 80-20 Rule, where it is assumed that in any process, its 80% of problems are caused by 20% of the major factor, whereas, 20% of problems are risen by 80% of minor elements. The Pareto Chart is a combination of a bar and a line graph, that portrays the individual values in descending order. This tool aims to highlight the significance of various parameters, which allows you to identify and direct your efforts on such factors that affect the part of the process. Sixth is Scatter Diagram. This tool is most helpful in illustrating the relationship between two variables and it is suitable for QA professionals. Each dot at the y-axis dependent value and x-axis independent value represents a common intersection point. When these points are assembled, they depict the relationship between variables. A stronger correlation in your diagram will assure an even stronger relationship between variables. Seventh is Control Chart. Also called the Schwarz Chart, this tool helps the experts to determine that a process is predictable or not, which helps you to recognize factors that may lead to any sort of variations. These charts use a central line that depicts upper and lower control limits that are based on historical data. Using this chart will save your organization time and money by foreseeing the performance of a process. Take away. Thus, hereby it can be concluded that both quality assurance and quality control are significant parts of quality management. Lastly, the seven tools of QC are also vital as they increase the product and process quality adequately. That's all for this video. We hope you liked this video. Please hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe our channel and share with others. For more visit on our website, thanks for watching goodbye.